You need to shake them off, Abby. This whole rotten family, like I did. <laughs> well, you didn't shake them off too well. One of them's trying to kill you. Okay, you got, you got a point there, kiddo. <sighs> oh, shit. Mum's calling me. Don't answer it. Come on, Abby, ignore her, please. She knows how to leave a message. See? Was that so hard? That felt weird. You know, your mom gave me a big pitch at the meeting. Told me that I should be selling my share to the rest of the family. I told her dad left me the business, and they would get my share only when they pried it from my cold, dead hands. I just kind of thought they'd wait a few years. <laughs> they would... they would never. You don't know that, Abby. Look, I've been having a lot of research done recently for my autobiography, and this family has got secrets, believe me. I wouldn't put anything past them. Well, I should really get to the quiz before Mom kills me. That wasn't meant to be a joke. I know. You can do this. I believe in you, Abby. You know them. You know what makes them tick, right? Use that to your advantage. What if I screw it up? Well, I am betting my life on that not happening. Okay, I'll try. I'll be here, listening. And I'll help as much as I can. Remember, Abby, find the poison, find the proof, find the killer. You know, your mom gave me a big pitch at the meeting. Told me that I should be selling my share to the rest of the family. I told her dad left me the business, and they would get my share only when they pried it from my cold, dead hands. Your mom's on the warpath. I would just leave her alone for now. I think your best chance of success is probably speaking with Lottie, Toby. If you're feeling brave enough, Auntie June. Mama, maybe because it's your birthday, that's why you should go first? No. Well, how about nobody goes first, and then we can all just fuck off to bed? <sighs> Hi, babe. You okay? Yeah, uh, fine, thanks, babe. <laughs> so, <laughs> did you go to the meeting? What? The, uh, <laughs> the meeting? The one that was at Auntie Jean's house? Oh, the family business thing. Yeah, I went to that. Oh my god, so much drama. <laughs> really, what happened? <laughs> Mum is raging about it. Before you came on, she said she didn't want to talk about it. And then she went off on Uncle Marcus for like a solid five minutes. Honestly, if this quiz doesn't go smoothly, I think she's going to actually have a meltdown. Like, she's so embarrassing when she's like that. I'm like... Calm down, take a seat, keep your wig on. <laughs> so why was mum so upset? What actually happened at the meeting? Oh, babe, too much. You had to be there. Well, can you tell me what I missed? You know what? I think I'm just going to tell mum I'm going to go first. If she has to wait any longer for this quiz to start, I think she might actually have like a genuine full-on breakdown. See you back in there, babe. Well, that was something. God, that was really bad, wasn't it? Yeah, that wasn't so good. Maybe try something different next time, but that's okay. You learn from it, right? Come on. Hey, come on. The quiz is about to start. Here we go. Yes, but Lottie, this is my birthday. Yeah, and the questions are for you. They're just about me. I want to play an actual quiz, Lottie. Not spend my evening blowing smoke up your ass. It'll be so good, I promise. Okay, everyone pick your team, please. Toby, do you want to team up with me? Ah, did someone just say my name? Yeah, I was asking if you wanted to... Sorry, gonna have to speak up. Signal's breaking up. Do you want to team up with me? Still can't hear anything. Do you want... Oh, Toby, just stop pricking about and team up with your brother. <sighs> Fine. Who's next? Teams? Yeah, I... Uh, 
I just need to go to the loo. Oh, Jesus Christ, Dad. What the hell is this quiz? Chaos. You play the whole thing in teams? Sort of. We pick a new team each round. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I can't remember how it started. Probably some doomed attempt to make things fair or avoid another fight. You know what they're like. I sure do, kid. I sh <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, I've been better. You better go pick a teammate. Oh, I'm not starting with mummy. I'll be through this bottle before the first question. Well, you getting through that bottle has nothing to do with mum. Girls, behave yourselves. What would your father say if he saw you like this? Why do you have to bring daddy into everything? I mean, you're talking to us like we were children. June started it. Okay, ready? Question one. Grime legend Capsi recently described my debut track as sick, but what is the track called? Or is that too easy? Uh, no, I think it's okay. Let's start easy and see how we go. Oh, I completely zoned out of that. What was the question? Uh, what is Lottie's song called? Uh, songs from a strangulated cat. Ballad of a teenage narcissist, ho. <laughs> Actually... I do know what it's called. She's rammed it down our throats enough times. It's called Vibin' It. Mm. What does that even mean? Sounds like a massage chair. Or a sex toy. Uh, well, a, a vibe is like a sort of a feeling. Don't patronise me. Sorry. I, I Just thought that... Just ask the question. My first track is called That and It. <laughs> Not a single wrong answer there. Clearly a lot of fans on the floor tonight. <laughs> Your sister, Abigail, is an asshole. Who does she get it from? Question two, Capsy loved my track so much. He had me guessed on his latest song. What's it called? That's something foreign, isn't it? Asian, the word's Asian. Huh? Just put that down before we run out of time. Asian. That's good enough. I, I'm i pretty sure it's arigato. Well, what the hell is that? Thank you. In Japanese. That's Asian. I said Asian. Japan's Asian, isn't it? Right. The answer is arigato. Christ, what a little rubbish. Uh, just give me a minute. I need to think of question three. She heard when at the meeting, just to see the look on your face. What do you mean? Oh, didn't your precious Uncle Marcus tell you? What? He burnt his hand. Poor lamb. Well, I burnt his hand, accidentally, but I rather wish I'd thought of it. What, what happened? Well, I had a little stumble and I knocked one of my candles, which landed on Marcus. And straight away, his jumper just... <laughs> Up in flames. Now, quality clothing does not burn like that. So it just goes to show, doesn't matter how much money that man makes, he will never not be a cheap skate titos. Anyway, Toby claims he was just trying to douse the flames. So he threw his drink right in Marcus's face, nowhere near the flames. So then your mother threw her drink on him as well, which did put out the fire, which was Kind of a shame. But Marcus started wailing like a girl about his hand. He was in agony. So Lottie ran in with a wet rag and started rubbing it all over his burns. It was hilarious. So then your nana got involved and started bandaging his hand. And then Bradley came in with some painkillers. And the fun was sort of over really then, which was sort of sad. But, you know, if it had been just me, I'd have left him to it. But... He did look like he'd been dragged through a hedge backwards and forwards again. It's all really rather wonderful. Question three. According to a recent poll from my fans, what is my greatest strength? Oh, right. Now, so this is the bit when she starts bragging about her singing voice, isn't it? Actually, I think Lottie might think greatest strength means something else. Like what? I think she means her eyebrows. I mean, 
Why are we even playing along with this? These aren't questions. She's just manipulating us into giving her praise and compliments. It is pathetic. I do honestly think she'll say her eyebrows. The answer is obviously my eyebrows. Good Lord, she's worse than I thought. I was really surprised when my fan said that, you know, I was like, what about my legs or like my teeth or my eyes? And they were like, oh yeah, we love them all too, but like, it's really hard to pick a favorite. And I was like, yeah, there. What in the sweet succulent hell is she talking about? Okay, so question four, how many times has dad taken me to Dubai? Oh Christ, that waste of space. Honestly, you should have seen him run for the hills the second Lottie was born. Couldn't see him for dust. Now it's one holiday a year and he thinks he's the best daddy in the world. Still, I suppose most affair babies are just forgotten about, aren't they? So I should give him a tiny bit of credit for that. I bet you're bloody glad he's not your dad, aren't you? I guess so. Oh, come along, Abigail. It is very sad that your daddy died, but, but it's been years now. But I just had to... Get over it when my daddy died. No moping about for me. And do you know the answer to this or not? I can work it out. Can you now? Yeah, Lottie went to Dubai for the first time for her sixth birthday. I remember it because um, she was really scared, so I made her this lucky charm necklace to wear on the plane for good luck. Anyway, my point uh, is that if she first went to Dubai for her sixth birthday, she's been doing the same thing every year since. Lottie's now 19. With a simple bit of maths... 13. Put that down. Well, I was going to say 14. Yes, well, you're not exactly Carol Vorderman, are you? So just put the answer in. Fine. Yeah, I'll go with 13. The answer is 14 times. Oh, you are terrible at maths, Abigail. <laughs> but you were the one that no, said... I said I didn't want to lose this quiz. It's going to be 15 in a couple of months. Oh, I can't wait. I've got some guest appearances booked while I'm out there and some super fun tie-ins with, like, really great brands. <laughs> Lottie, are you seriously expecting us to just sit here and listen to you brag about your dismally self-absorbed and terminally shallow life, or are you going to ask us some proper questions? You know what? Like, fuck you. Someone else can do a round now. It's a miracle. Thanks. I am never teaming up with that freak again. I was only trying to make conversation. Uh, have you told mum about your latest purchase? Huh? He's bought a gun, Mum. Literally the very gun that was used to murder that famous astronaut. Well, it's not the exact gun, it's the same make of gun, right? There's a difference. Oh, for God's sake, you two. If I have to listen to you bickering anymore, I'm going to come up to Bradley's room and blow my own brains out. Speaking with your Auntie June is like trying to charm a rattlesnake. <laughs> but I think we got some useful stuff. I also have some new... Oh. oh! News that could really help us. The doctors have managed to narrow the poison down to three possibilities. So let's check out everything that we have so far. Yeah, signal's not great here, guys, so uh, I'd rather do my round later. I can give it a go, as long as someone explains the rules to me again. Oh, no. <laughs> Look, I'll do my round. Let's try and bring some order and civility back to proceedings, shall we? Dare I even say a bit of class? <laughs> I shall perform a piece of music. One of the classics. Gold! Brandau Ballet. One point to me. No, I mean the true classics. No, true! That's another one. Two points to me. I'm talking about Mozart, Bach, Chopin, actual 
geniuses. You don't care about geniuses. You only cared about Spandau Ballet and the saxophone players' tight trousers. Well, this may come as a shock to you, June, but some people's tastes mature with age. You're right, and you have aged. What are we playing? I shall perform a recognisable melody, and you must simply tell me the name of the piece, or to make it easier for the slow ones, just tell me the name of the composer. So, we're playing Name That Tune, then? Yes, Mother. If you like. Fancy being with me, June. There's nothing I'd like more than to repeatedly explain what's going on to a slightly senile old woman over a dodgy internet connection. I mean, it's one of my favourite things. Well, I might ask a few questions. Well, come along then. Let's get it over with. Nimini pimini, nimini pimini. Millicent millipede multiply majestically. Millicent millipede multiply majestically. Uh, mm. Hey, babe. Hi, Lottie. Are you okay? Just trying to figure out what I should wear for my live stream tonight. Don't know if I should wear a vermilion or cerulean. I'd wear vermilion, 100%. You would? I'll wear cerulean. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Everyone listening? Good. <clears throat> la la la, la 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 la. La la la, la I mean, la, la, I recognise it, but I, yeah, la, I don't know But, Toccata and Fugue in D minor. La, la, la. Oh, easy. Yes, that was quite an easy one. Bass, Toccata and Fugue in D minor. Now let me have a little think about what I'm going to do next. <laughs> How did you know that? Don't you remember? Mum used to play it all the time when we were kids. She even put it on at the meeting. It's like her hype song. Uh, she did? <laughs> yeah. She said something about it helping her gird her loins, whatever that means. Yeah. I think she was probably just trying to drown out the sound of all the arguments, to be honest. Well, nice one, babe. Thanks, babe. Oh my God, you missed a mad one the other night. Did I? Yeah. Like, so much random stuff happened. I was speaking to Auntie June, and she said she had this, like, big, horrible spelling candle made especially for the meeting, and she called it something weird too, like, closure. That is weird. I know, like, if you're gonna have something specially made for the meeting, at least make it something we can all enjoy. Like, what's wrong with pizza? Okay, I know what I'm doing for my next piece. La da 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 Da, 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 la, 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 yeah, I really don't know. La, 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 Let's la, Hungry la, Rhapsody la, la, number two. La, 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 Is it? La. A Hungarian Rhapsody number two, yeah, that's it. Wow. Okay. Thanks. And that answer was clearly the charming Hungarian Rhapsody number two by the original rock star. Franz Liszt. I knew it. Uh, now give me a moment while I think about my next piece. Abby, what are you doing? You gotta get back to the quiz, Abby. Abby! Where did you go? What? Are you okay, hon? You look all like frowny. Don't you worry about getting lines? No. I guess. Um... Sorry. Don't apologise to me, babe. Apologise to your skin. Oh, yeah, will do. Thanks. So, um, do you remember anything else about Auntie June at the meeting? Same old pisshead. Right. She really hates Uncle Marcus, though. Everything he said seemed to make her blood boil. That hatred goes way back to, like, when we were kids. Like, seriously, every time Marcus said something, Auntie June would get up and start pacing the room to try and chill out. Right, I'm starting my next piece now, whether you're ready or not. Oh my god! Did you do that? No, I think she's pressed something. Oh my god, this is the best thing I've ever seen. I'm putting this on. Who did this? Uh oh. Speak up! Mom, I think you put a filter on accidentally. <laughs> Answers now. I can't even remember what she did. <laughs> oh wait, two seconds. Uh, uh, Mozart, Rondo alla Charca. How do you know all of these? Th 
that was Mozart's Rondo alla Turca. I need a moment to consider my next piece. This is it's really great, Lottie. I had no idea that you knew so much about classical music. Oh, yeah. I love it, hon. Love it. That last one used to be my ringtone when I was a kid. I just like listened to it over and over and over. What are you talking about? <laughs> I've got an app on my phone, babe. It's recognizing all the songs for us. No one uses their brains anymore. Obviously. <gasps> well, let's not waste any more time. Oh, oh, Christ, I think I've strained something. Oh, you, this, none of this is worth me doing any serious damage to my voice, not even a mild twitch. <laughs> Someone else can do their round now. Oh my god, that was actually so much fun. Yeah, I'm kind of gutted I missed the meeting now. It seemed like it was pretty entertaining. Oh, it wasn't all that. What happened? Bradley being Bradley, as usual, he's like a weird little kid who's like always trying to gross you out. Except this time he was like pissed off with me over nothing. What was he mad about? Has he ever shown you his collection? No, but he... Has offered. Oh my god, don't do it. I asked him about it like once and now he's obsessed with updating me every single time he gets a new piece of whatever you call it, murderabilia. What stuff did he show you? Dead mouse in a jar, a knife someone used to slit their throat and like this thing he said was a shrunken head. Ugh. Anyways, he was pissed off because he thought he lost something. I don't know what. He was like really freaking out and he was scared I'd taken it. <sighs> Wonder what he'd lost. He's like really excited to show me these two poisons. He said they were extremely deadly and like super illegal. Poisons? Yeah, he must have been like freaking out he'd get caught. Lottie, do you remember the name of these poisons? <laughs> God, no. Actually, I think he sent me an email about it. What? Yeah, I guess I wasn't impressed enough, so he had to like prove to me how deadly they were. <laughs> I never even read it. Please tell me that you still have that email. Who deletes emails, babe? They're like made of air. Lottie, can you send me that email, please? Babe. Oh, I really need to set Bradley to spam. <laughs> Here you go. Holy shit. <clears throat> oh god, I just remember the half decomposed sheep skull he showed me. <clears throat> no. I. Fabulous birthday so far, Flick. Do you think we're actually going to finish a single round this evening? Uncomfortable silence. My favorite. Hey, Abby. Jesus Christ, what the hell? They're on to me. Who? The killer. I got an email, anonymous, that they no, told me to Abby. stop or, or, oh my God, I, I can't do this. I'm afraid it is too late for that. No, I can't, I told you. Abby. No, I'm not built for this shit. What are they going to do to me? Abby, stop it. <laughs> stop. What, Uncle Marcus? <laughs> are you okay? It's getting worse, Abby. I've got less time than I thought. Don't give up on me. You're the only chance I got. <sighs> Please, Abby. Please. You okay? Okay, listen up, guys. Uh, my signal seems to have settled down a bit, yeah? So let's do my round now. But listen, I've got a pretty cool new spin on how to... Everyone get in teams. Right, yeah, 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 sure, cool. Yeah, let's start there. Uh, Lottie, will you... Ew, no. Don't let her talk to you like that, Bradley. Well, you say worse to him every day. The other day you called him a slug. That was affectionate. At least my Bradley's not a brainless, stuck-up little moron like Lottie. I'm not stuck-up. You, you, ever. Speak to my daughter like that again, oh, and I'll... Flick, I didn't know you'd suddenly become interested in your children. Stop! I'll, like, team up with Bradley, whatever, if it'll save another argument. Cool. Let's just make this clear. You can team up with me, but that does not mean you can talk to me. Okay. We're gonna expand some minds here, guys. <laughs> hey, Auntie Felicity, look, just give me a chance, and I might just change your life for the better, yeah? Toby. 
The only way you can make my life better is if you never speak to me ever again. <laughs> How's it going, Mum? How do you think? Good? Bad. Very bad. This quiz has been a disaster so far. But I'm getting to the end of this round, no matter what. Well, it's just nice to do something on your birthday. Is it? Well, none of us would be here if it wasn't for you. No. No, you wouldn't. OK. Listen up, guys. We're doing what I like to call empathy scenarios. It's kind of quiz, kind of a workshop type thing. So I'm going to give you a scenario and you can score points by how well you empathise, OK? That doesn't make any sense. Show me the empathy. <laughs> OK, first scenario, picture this. Imagine that you're humble people. I know that's a pretty hard ask for some people in this family. So, you're humble people. You've lived in the same tiny fishing village your entire lives, and you're facing the twin threats of globalisation and climate change. Is that it? I think so. What's the question? Remember, guys, we're looking for empathy here. Points for empathy. Oh, how am I supposed to just conjure up empathy? I have no idea. Is it a charades type thing? Are we supposed to act it out? Yes, Mum, that, that must be it. You're... You're a genius. Well, if he wants a performance, I'll give him a performance. But if I humiliate myself and Toby still makes me lose this bloody quiz... Empathy. Nodding. Nodding. Is, is that empathy? I think so. <laughs> You're going to be awesome at this, Mum. You're an amazing actor. I know. Although why Toby can't just do a normal bloody round, I don't know. He's been all over the shop recently. Well, mentally, I mean. Oh, really? Yeah. It was off his head at the meeting. I overheard him talking to himself in the toilets. You have to do this. You can do this. I mean, it gives me no pleasure to say this at all, but I do worry that he might be hitting the sauce like his mother. Relate to this. Rising sea temperatures mean the fish you seek have moved further away from the coast into dangerous waters, unsailable waters. Your livelihood is literally abandoning you. How does that make you feel? Oh, come on, really exist as these people. <sighs> Fine. Oh, my God, Mum, are you OK? <laughs> oh, no. I'm never going to see fish again. I just hate fossil fuels. <laughs> Abby, what on earth are you doing? Wow. Auntie Felicity, that... Yes. That's actually really patronising. These people are far braver, have far more resilience than you could ever imagine. They would never give up. They would face any danger for their families, for their way of life, yeah? Let's mix things up and bring this a little closer to home. No. This is supposed to be a quiz, not a fucking TED talk. Either ask a proper question or go snog a tree. So, let me get this straight. What you're saying is, is that you lack the basic human decency to understand another person's struggle, yeah? Shut up, Toby. <laughs> there are other people in the world beside you. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we here for Hilda the Fisherwoman's birthday? Well, no, but... Toby, let me stop you there. Is the next thing you're going to say a question? An actual question? The kind of thing you get in a quiz? I've got a different scenario about mating turtles. No, I'm sorry, Toby, you've had your chance. I am You're done. doing a problem. Another disaster? Why do I even bother? I try to do something nice, something selfless for this family. I know, Mum. I know, Mum. Is that your total contribution? Christ, Abby, oh, let me get a word in. Wait, wait, <laughs> Mum, I... 
I need to tell you something. Something really bad has happened to Uncle Marcus. I'm not interested. No, but he's... The man's a liar, Abby. I always hoped you wouldn't fall for it, and perhaps I should have done something when you were younger, but it wasn't easy for me either. After your father died, I thought, oh, if you want to turn to Uncle Marcus and not me, perhaps I should let you. Either you realise what it was like, or... Mum, what are you talking about? You really don't see it, do you? He's paranoid, Abby. Deceitful, always painting himself as the good guy, the victim. A few years ago, he thought a business partner was trying to kill him. He was sent all these threatening emails, anonymous emails. Wouldn't surprise me if Marcus was the one writing them. What? He went mad. He bought a gun, he bought a guard dog. It was all bullshit, completely in his head. No, I, I, don't, I don't understand. It's he... all an act, Abby. Don't get sucked in. Kid, we need to talk. Abby, please, please. If we had more time, I could explain. You said this was real. It is real. How can I trust you? How can I trust anything that you say now? I'm not paranoid. Some guy was making threats. It wasn't in my head. Oh, okay, so maybe I took the threats a little too seriously, but how was I supposed to know? <laughs> how was I supposed to know he wasn't gonna follow through? How was I supposed to know that? As far as I was concerned, the guy was nuts. And then June got a hold of it, Abby, and the whole thing got twisted. And I, I, I don't know why I didn't tell you. I don't know. I, 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 I didn't want to scare you. So why are you telling me this time? This time? Abby? It just doesn't make any sense. You you tell me the story that someone's tried to kill you, and now, now I find out that you've done this before. This is not the same. But uh, how? Abby, I'm fucking dying! Look, Abby, you either trust me or you don't. And if you don't, then this whole thing is done. And you're never going to know the whole story. Is that what you want? Is that what you want, Abby? Just know this. I'm the only person in this family that would never fucking lie to you. Huh. I, I believe you. You don't know how much I needed to hear that, Abby. Especially with how I'm feeling right now. Okay. So, listen, I think I managed to get some useful stuff from Mum. Mom. Are you okay? How many spiders do you see on my hand? What? Just answer the question! I, 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 I don't see any spiders. Fuck. Shit, did you see that? No, I... I I'm crowed here! Ah! It's gone from my eye! I, I, I can't see anything. There's nothing there. Are you sure? Yeah. The uh, hallucinations have started then. Doc says once I start seeing things, you can count how long I have left in minutes. I better get back in there then. Wait, I'm sorry. I don't think I'm going to be able to help you much longer. <coughs> Uncle Mark. <coughs> what is it? I'm out of time. No use pandering to their egos anymore, kid. I won't be around long enough. If you want to save me, you got to find the truth. Good, good luck, kid. I 
guess this is it. Absolutely not. I'm telling you, I can do it. This quiz has been enough of a disaster so far. Oh, let your sister have a go. It'll be chaos. Look at her. She's just had a couple of drinks. No harm in that. A couple of drinks? She's had a cellar full. Look, nobody has anything ready, but I do. I have questions. Lots and lots of questions. Can I team up with you, Mum? Oh, I just know I'm going to regret this. You are going to play nicely, aren't you, June? Of course I am. I always play nicely. I'm delighted. Bradley, we need to talk. About what? Question one. Which one of Flick's little brats threw up all over my car? Well, that was you, wasn't it? Mum still talks about it. She still thinks she can smell it. She's had like eight cars since then. <laughs> I was three years old. Yeah, she'll never forgive you. We can answer it or what? Fine. So the answer is Abigail. You should have known things are only going to go downhill from there. Question two. Who? poisoned my parakeets when he was a child. Is this you? Look, I, I didn't think they'd die. It was an experiment, okay? I should have remembered this. You've, you've done it before. What? I mean, it's pretty obvious if you take like a millionth of a second to think about it. I'll answer the question, but then we need to talk. Well, what are you talking about? So the answer to that particularly tricky brain teaser is of course, Bradley, my son. You're such a joy to be around. Abby, I need you. What is it? What's the matter? Time's up. Doc says if I take the right antidote now, I might just make it. I can't trust my brain right now, kiddo. I need you to pick one. It's okay, Abby. Whatever happens, just choose, please. It's Thallium. If you say so, kid. <sighs> chin chin. Finish this thing. I, I can do this. Well, where the hell have you been? Which one of you did it? Abby, are you okay? Who did it? Abby, explain yourself. You tried to kill him! Who poisoned Uncle Marcus? I don't get it. Who was it? Who wanted to murder Uncle Marcus? Abby, love, calm down. No one... They did, Nan. They, they fucking did. Abby, cut this out now. Who fucking did it? Right, that's enough. I warned you once. You bastard! 
kids. Hey, kid. I don't know who did it. I'm, Abby, Abby. I'm so sorry. It's I, okay. I, you saved me. Abby, you've done enough. Now for the rest of them. This ain't over.